how you guys doing this is Miguel back with another video today I'm gonna make an installation of a Zev technology striker spring right just came in the mail and this is a two pound spring all right and let me tell you something this is something that I, I am a little bit scared of because um, this is my gun that I'm always carrying to protect myself and my family. And um, I've seen videos on YouTube, a lot of them, where people, you know, first of all, uh, bullets, no mag. There's no mag in this whole entire um, desk. Um, there's nothing in here. So nothing's going to happen. All right? So I've seen videos that people just go like, and nothing happens. You know, the bullet is in there, but nothing happens. And they are like, what is going on? And they check the back of the bullet and they see, you know, they see the point of the striker. But what is going on, this is the problem. When they look around, this is the, this is the problem. It's that it's too light. And uh, it won't hit with a lot of force the back of the bullet and the bullet won't burst. And uh, in an emergency where you have to take care of yourself or your family, it's just pretty scary, you know. And um, But my intention is to teach you guys the best combination for a Glock, right? I'm always trying to look for the best trigger pull, the best feel on it. So you guys could, you know, know everything and know the combinations. So you guys could do it on your own block over there in your house, all right? So that is the purpose of all these videos that I have making. And um, so I'm going to try it. And maybe next week, I'm going to go to the range. I'm going to shoot it. And I'm going to make another video. I'm going to tell you if it's safe to put this or not, right? Right now, I have a four... Four pound spring yeah I think I have a four pound spring right now and it's behaving very perfect you know I have a two and a half um, trigger pull and this is like look at that reset that is like so that look at the wall look at this wall That is the wall. You hear the wall? You hear the wall? That is beautiful. I have done everything to this gun. You know, and I do it myself. And um, I really like it just like, what it, like it is right now. But I'm trying to look for something better, right? I order a plunger, a, I think, it, I believe it's a titanium plunger. And it's rounded, so it doesn't have the edge that the uh, plunger OEM has. Right now, I am running a OEM plunger on this gun, and I'm going to put that titanium one to see the difference, to see if I can get a better trigger pull, to see how far I can get this gun. All right, so you guys could do it yourself in your house, and um, if you guys go to a competition. You know, you guys are going to have a, a beautiful gun. You know, people will love your gun, right? So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you this mod that I did to it. Uh, my barrel is from Blacklist, all right? And uh, the only bad thing about this gold uh, tinted um, barrels is that once you shoot them a couple of times, they will start losing paint right here. All right, so I was looking at it and I was like, Man, that looks, looks like it's being scratched from far distance. You know, people will just look at it and will go, like, Man, that barrel is getting messed up. So, what I did to it is that I cover everything, I made it a pattern, all right, so it can look nice, it can look sexy. Uh, you can shoot it at, at any time, it'll keep looking the same, all right. Well, this is what I did. I created a pattern, right? I left inside 
the, uh, the, the letters and the numbers, I left them in gold. And in the middle, I left the gold. But all the edge where it was starting to scratch, all that edge, I, yeah, I just eliminated the color and made it chrome, all right? So it just looks nice. It looks like a pattern. It looks like it's been there, that it came like that. And um, people won't notice only the person that had this before, they will know that something is, is different there. I like how it looks because you will notice that you have all this scratched and, and, and that you're scratching your barrel. It just looks like it's been there from factory, right? So go ahead and if you experiment in the, experimenting the same thing, go ahead and do this. And it'll look sexy and nice, all right? So that is one thing. So let's go ahead for what I wanted to do. The spring installation, that's what I want to do. Well, check this, let's check it out. I've been shooting this gun more than 500 times and it still looks new. Because I'm always cleaning it. I'm always behind it. I'm always making new installations. I'm always playing with it and trying to look for the best combination for my Glock, all right? So let's go ahead over here. This is the plunger that I'm talking about. That is the plunger and that is the OEM plunger, all right? And if you look, It has an edge right there it has an edge and that is the edge that I'm going to eliminate when I get when I get the titanium and uh, titanium nitride it, it, um, it self lubricates so it should be better than this another thing that I got uh, behind this is a spring I got a competition spring but I cut my spring a little bit more so it could be more soft all right so that helped me a lot in getting a better trigger pull right you can't cut too much because you will ruin it and if you if you don't cut what you need to cut you won't do anything all right so you need to know how much you're gonna cut and still have a safe weapon all right you cannot play with this too much because uh, this is your life. This is one of the safety of the gun, right? So, this is a striker right here. So, to remove it, you're going to use one of this tool. And you see that plastic, that black plastic right here? You're going to pull that down. Why? Because you want to take out pressure from the spring to be able to get this plate off, right? So, I'm going to show it to you right there. Right there. Let me put the light. Right there. And you're going to put it down. You're going to push it down. Like that, you're going to feel it going down, and then with your finger, you're going to pull this out. You're going to keep your finger there because you don't want anything to be flying around. So, there you go. I've seen people that they go crazy with it, and it's so easy, you know. And I go, I see people going crazy with it, right? So, I don't even know, and they are people from the army. <laughs> I never been in the army. I I am not a police, not from the army. I'm just a civilian that loves Glocks. This is my passion, Glocks only. So, with that said, let's go ahead and mm, mm, that came hard. Not supposed to be coming out so hard. Well, I 
hope that my channel liner is not behaving crazy. Because that is one thing that I have to be changing. And you have to change it every time. And one thing you have to look is that um, this, let me see if I can point there. This are like, then you see that line? This piece comes in two. And when you put it back, you have to, you have to look out that you don't put that line, I'm oh, sorry, with the end of the spring. That will cause problems, right? My channel liner is new. Uh, and I have to make sure that that channel liner is installed correctly. Apparently, everything is okay. Nothing is bad in there, but don't know what is so hard to be putting inside. Well, let me make this installation and then I'll go for that. This is so easy, right? You're gonna use this. You're gonna put it there. Take this light a little bit more down. This, you're gonna put it in that hole like that. And you're gonna use it as a tool. So you're gonna push down your spring and this metals will come out. One, and two, all right? And this is your spring, all right? So this is my ZF spring. To be able to put it, you're gonna push down. Okay, let me show you over here. Put the camera a little bit more up. You're gonna grab one of them. Should you look at them? Like that. I'm gonna put this one right there. I'm gonna put this one right there. And you just let it go. There you go. Make sure to line very good using this you're gonna make sure that those lines that I show you before are not aligned with the end of the spring so right now I am totally good. Okay. Let me see. Find the line. The one line is over here and the other line is over there. Okay. There you go. Now, let's go ahead and try this again. Because this was freaking me out right there. There you go. Go in and you put it in there. This, right there. You're supposed to have a, like, 
hear a noise. When you put this, you're supposed to hear it cling, 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 going like that. All right. To put this back in, let me take this light out. Okay. To put the plate back in, you're going to push this. And you're going to push this until you get it to the middle. Like that. Alright? Like that. And then, with a small tool, you're going to push this spring down. And then, you push this inside. So it sounds like that. If it clicks, that means you did a good job. If it doesn't click, you have to look at it, all right? So that is done. That is the noise that you wanna hear. If you don't hear that noise, something is going on in there, all right? You're gonna make a test to your plunger How you do that test, if you look right here, you're going to push down, you're going to, you know, grab from over here, and you're going to push that way, all right? You're going to push down, and then the plunger, you're going to squeeze it, bam. Back again. You're going to go down, down with pressure, with a lot of pressure, and Bam. All right. Go back again. That's a click. Bam. All right. That means everything is safe and well installed. All right. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at everything. I always clean my slide, I always look like it's never been fired. Alright. I have to do this because this um this slide um lever is too big. It's like um it's too big right over here. And if you try to do it like that you will stay there forever so you just boop and she'll come out and she will click like that All right Sounds nice. Doesn't sound that bad. Um, sounds like with less pressure. Well, that went. <sighs> Shit goes fine. And let me just secure this because I love this spring. So if anything, this one gives a problem. I swap this one and problem is solved and I will let you know if this Zef two pounds is worth it or not. Um, let me look for something to be able to just teach you how you going to know if it's going to work or not. Let me go ahead. And You're going to grab a pencil and you're going to just stick it in there. 
all the way to the end. All right. Clock it. See it jumping. All right. That's what you want to see. It's hitting. Perfect. For now, it has a pretty good pressure inside. So I think it'll work. Let me touch the tip. This should work. All right. Uh, so that's about it. That is my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, don't forget to be safe always. Check your your gun check all the safeties there's a video around there that i left for you guys so you guys could know how to check on your safeties and um that's about it i'll be posting a video to let you know if that was worth it a try or not all right so stay tuned thumbs up don't forget to hit a like subscribe and peace out